Hey guys, it's Doe here, and I'm so excited to be with you for the verse of the day. My you version family, we are reading out of 1 Peter 4, 16. I'm going to be reading from the Amplified Version. I really like that version. Obviously, you can get any version you desire on you version. Let's read. But if anyone suffers ill treatment as a Christian because of his belief, he is not to be ashamed, but he is to glorify God because he is considered worthy to suffer in his name. I love this scripture and it's really interesting because in this moment, Paul is talking to a group of people who are under the rulership of a very, very harsh individual who's ramping up on persecution of Christians. And he's saying things like, just if you're suffering, remember that Jesus suffered first. And when we read this, we realize, man, Jesus is a prime example of how to suffer well. He's a beautiful example of how to be in an unjust situation and suffer well. And you know, when you use the word suffering, I'm not talking about just bad things happening to good people. I'm not talking about the bad things that happen because we live in a fallen world. And although God will never turn a blind eye to those things, this scripture is actually talking specifically to a suffering that is brought on because you love Jesus, because you have chosen to live for Jesus. And I love it so much because the word of God says that we should rejoice in this type of suffering because we have been counted as worthy to suffer in this name. I want to read to you you, uh, the message version of this first Peter 4 14 through 16 if you are abused because of Christ count yourself fortunate it is the spirit of God and his glory that in you that brought you to the notice of others if you are on if they are on you because you broke the law or disturbed the peace that is a different matter but if it is because you are a Christian don't give it a second thought be proud of this distinguished status reflected in that name. What a beautiful name to speak. What a beautiful name to praise. But even more so, what a beautiful name to bear. And what a beautiful name to suffer for. Oftentimes, we're able to shy away from uh, righteous suffering like this. And in some parts of the world, they're not able to shy away from, them, from it. It's not a choice for them. And you might be listening to me and thinking, well, I'm not really... Uh, facing that type of persecution in my life. Well, I want to ask you, have you been praying for your family and you're experiencing warfare because you decided that you're going to raise a godly family? That is persecution. Have you been called to a sp specific industry and God has sent you there and you're just coming up against resistance after resistance after resistance, wall after wall, and people may be talking down to you or looking at you a certain way because you believe in Jesus Christ, that is persecution. And I wanna encourage you to glorify God in this, for he has counted you worthy to suffer in his name. God bless you and you have a wonderful day.